Hello. In this video, I'm going to go through the steps to create the shear and bending moment diagrams for the beam shown here. So if we look at this beam, it has a distributed load of, um, we're told it's 200 pounds per foot squared, or per, sorry, per foot. And uh, we're also told that we have this uh, point load of P1, which is 500 pounds. All right, the beam is 10 feet and the point load is applied three feet in. First thing we're going to do is create a um, free body diagram. So let's move things up a little bit. In order to create that free body diagram, I'm going to start off by um, taking the distributed load and compiling it into a point load that will be applied at the center. So W1 has point load is going to be um, 200 pounds per foot times 10 feet is 2,000 pounds. All right, and that will be applied at the center. So let's uh, put that into a free body diagram. So free body diagram, we have this beam here, 10 feet long, and at the ends we're going to call this reaction force um, AY, and this one here we're going to call BY. And uh, our point load, our first one is at three, three feet, and it's uh, 500 pounds. And then the consolidated distributed load of 200 pounds, that's going to happen at five feet. And so that is uh, the same as if we were to apply a 2,000 pound load in the middle. Okay, so this one's three feet in, and uh, the other one here is five feet in. All right, so in order to solve for our unknown reaction forces, AY and BY, what we're going to do is we're going to use the static equilibrium equations. We're going to start off with the sum of the moments about point A. So sum of the moments at point A is equal to zero. And uh, if we look at this, we're going to imagine that it was pinned at point A, and um, each of the forces on the beam is going to create a moment about point A. So if we look at the 500 pounds, that's going to make the um, beam want to rotate in a clockwise direction. So that's going to be a um, negative because we're going to have clockwise as negative. So that would be a negative. And so that's our first one there. So negative um, 500 pounds times the distance is three feet. And then our next load is going to be the 200 pound one and it's going to be counterclockwise as well. So it's going to be negative as well. So that's going to be negative 200 pounds, 2000 pounds times the distance there is five feet. And then the last one is going to be our unknown, our reaction force. So that's gonna make things want to rotate um, clockwise. And so that's going to be a positive. And so that will be plus, um, by times the distance there, it's the full distance, so it's 10 feet. And that will all equal zero. So at this point we have one unknown, one equation, which is a beautiful thing to have. And uh, after we do the math, we will find that by is equal to um, 1,350 um, pounds. All right, then our next, um, static equilibrium equation that we'll use to solve for AY. So our BY was found to be 1350 pounds. Um, the other static equilibrium equation we'll use is some of the forces in Y equals zero. All right, and so that there would be our AY plus BY, our, our up forces, and then these applied forces, the 500 and 2000 would be our um, Sorry, these are our applied forces. These are our reaction forces. So the equation would be, um, let's do AY plus BY 
minus 500 pounds minus 2,000 pounds equals zero. And uh, so that we know BY is 1350. And so our only unknown here is AY. So AY is going to be um, the 500 pounds plus 2,000 pounds minus 1350, which equals um, 1,150 pounds. All right, so we've solved for our AY and our BY. Our AY here equals 1150 pounds, and that is our free body diagram. So once we have that, we can use that information.